Hello friends, this video on probability part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. The question says that a fair coin and unbiased die, the coin and the die are tossed. A B the event head appears on the coin and B the event 3 on the die. We have to check whether A and B are independent events or not. So we have a die in a coin toss. This guy gets three and this guy gets head, let's suppose. Right? This, this is the A event, this guy is the B event. Looking by the question only, we can say that they are independent because see whatever you get in this guy uh, coin is independent of whatever you get in die, right? Both are independent actually, so it doesn't matter. So but let's let's try to uh, prove this using that uh, formulas. So A is having head element and B is having 3 in die, right? 3 in die. Correct. So if we throw these two together, if you throw these two together actually, so you may get 1H, 2H, 3H, 4H, 5H, 6H or same result with tail, 1 tail, 2 tail, 3 tail, 4 tail, 5 tail, 6 tail, right. So there are 12 elements in the sample space, right, S, number of elements in sample space is 12 and this is my S set, correct. Set A says that it, it should get a head. That means all these elements are part of set A. So A will have elements like one head, two head, three head, four head, five head and six head. Correct. This is my A set. B set is three in die. That is this guy and this guy. Three head or three tail. And three tail. Correct. To prove that uh, they are independent, I have to prove that probability of A and B is nothing but probability of A into probability of B. So first, let's find A and B. A and B, 3H is common? Yes, common. 3T is there? No. So 3H is the only common element. So probability of A and B will be 1 because it has 1 element by 12. The sample space has 12 element. Correct. Probability of A will be what? There are 6 elements by total elements 12. Probability of B will be what? There are 2 elements in B by 12, right? So let's see probability of A into probability of B is equal to what? There is something but 6 by 12 into 2 by 12 gone to what you get is 1 by 12. So if you see both are same, that means probability of A and B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. Since this condition is true, I can say that both are independent events. Correct. So logically also we could, without even solving the question, we can say that they are independent events because we are throwing a coin, we are throwing a die and you are asking for an event where you get some number in your die and some uh, head in your coin. Both are independent, they don't depend on each other logically also and mathematically also we prove that both are independent events. A die mark 1, 2, 3 in red, 4, 5, 6 in green is tossed. That means I have a die where 1, 2, 3 is in red, 4, 5, 6 is in green. That is tossed. A be the event, the number is even. So A will have uh, 2, 4, 6. Correct. And B the event, the number is red. B's number is red, that is 1, 2, 3. The question is, are they independent? So let's find this. A and B is what? Is there any common element? Yes. 2 is the common element. So probability of A and B will be what? 1 by 6, because it has one element, total element is 6, 
तो वैलिडिटी ऑफ ए इज थ्री बाई सिक्स थ्री एलिमेंट बाई टोटल एलिमेंट वैलिडिटी ऑफ बी इज अगेन थ्री बाई सिक्स थ्री एलिमेंट बाई टोटल एलिमेंट सी पी सी प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ ए डॉट प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ बी वॉटिकेट इज थ्री बाई सिक्स इंटू थ्री बाई सिक्स दर इज वन बाय फोर इफ यू सी वन बाय फोर एंड वन बाय सिक्स इज नॉट इक्वल दैट मीन्स आई कैन से दैट प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ ए एंड बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ ए इंटू प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ बी सिंस दिस इज ट्रू दैट इज इट इज नॉट अ इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट करेक्ट सिंस प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ ए एंड बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ ए इंटू प्रोबेलिटी ऑफ बी आई कैन से दैट दे आर नॉट इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट Let's take one example. Given the events A and B are such that probability of A is one by two, probability of A in B is three by three, probability of B is P. We have to find P if they are mutually exclusive and they are independent. So we know that first we take mutually exclusive. If A and B are mutually exclusive, probability of A and B has to be zero because there should not be any common element between A and B. Please note this is a, a, a thing we are learning here. If A and B are mutually exclusive events, then A and B will have no elements, empty set. So probability of A and B will be zero, right? So I'm taking the first part now. So now we have this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy also. We can use the formula. Formula is probability of A union B A and B is nothing but probability of A plus probability of B. Minus probability of A or B, A and B. A probability of A or B is this. So, A or B is three by five given. Probability of A is one by two given. Probability of B is P, which you have to find, and probability of A and B is zero given. So, with this, if you solve, your P comes out to be three by five minus one by two. Right? That is ten. This becomes six minus five. That is one by ten, and that is my answer. Correct. In case of the second part, independent events. Let's put a line here. The condition I know that probability of A into probability of B is probability of A and B. Right? See, because to use the formula, probability of A and B is missing. So in this case, I know probability of A and B is zero. Then we use it. Here we'll find probability of A and B. That is equal to probability of A and B is equal to Probability of A that is one by two into probability of B that is P. So I have got this far. Again, we use the same formula. Probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Right? This guy is three by five. Probability of A is one by two. Probability of B is P, and probability of A and B is P by two. If you solve this now, what you get? P is one by five, and that is my answer. So very simple for the same question. Depending on whether it's a mutual exclusive events or independent event, we get different value of P. We'll take one more example. Let A and B be independent events. With probability of A point three, probability of B point four. We have to find all these values. They are independent events. So probability of A and B is simple actually, right? Probability of A and B is nothing but The first part I'll find is probability of A into probability of B. Probability of A was 0.3. Probability of B is 0.4. That is 0.1. The second is we have to find probability of A or B. This is also very simple. We can use this formula. It's nothing but probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. We know all these values. That is nothing but probability of A is 0.3. Probability of B is 0.4. Plus minus probability of A and B is minus point one two. That is nothing but point five. This is also done. Probability of A given B. Now since A and B are independent, probability of A given B will be equal to probability of A. That is nothing but point three. Similarly, probability of B given A. Since they are independent, this will become probability of B, and that is nothing but point five. And this is my answer. Very simple question. Just direct application of the form. The next question says that if A and B are two events such that probability of A is one by four, probability of B is one by two, and probability of A and B is one by eight, find P. 
प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ नॉट ए नॉन ए आई एम लुकिंग फॉर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ नॉट ए एंड नॉट बी सी नॉट ए एंड नॉट बी इज नथिंग बट ए और बी नॉट दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए और बी नॉट करेक्ट इफ आई कैन फाइंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए और बी एंड दिस नथिंग बट वन माइनस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए और बी so with these i can easily find probability of a or b very easily right probability of a or b is nothing but probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a and b so this comes out to be probability of a is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 minus probability of a and b is 1 by 8 right this comes out to be 5 by 8 but i am looking for probability of this guy and that is nothing but 1 minus probability of a or b this is nothing but 1 minus 5 by 8 and that is nothing but 3 by 8 and that's it very simple just directly to apply formula and get the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again